the carelessness of the world community in the face of the highest probability of eruption of the Yellowstone megavolcano in the United States is striking. Everyone seems to know about it, sometimes even writing and reporting, but they prefer not to exacerbate the danger of the impending cataclysm. First of all, the blame lies with the authorities of the United States of America. The magma source of an ordinary large volcano is located at a depth of more than 100 kilometers. Magma Center Megavolcano Yellowstone lies at a depth of only 8 to 16 kilometers, separated from the surface only relatively thin crust of earth, which with increasing pressure can be demolished at any minute. The giant differs noticeably from ordinary volcanoes by its huge transverse dimensions the diameter of the so-called caldera is about 70 kilometers. The eruption of the megavolcano may start with an explosion with the power of thousands of megatons, of equivalent, exceeding the power of a large-scale nuclear war. Immediately the territories of many U.S. states and southern Canada will be destroyed. Next, giant tsunami waves will form in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and a giant hole. In the Earth's crust, Portugal, Spain, France, England, Germany, Italy and many other European countries will be partially or completely washed away, as well as many countries in Eastern Asia, including China, Japan, Korea. The area of the hole in the Earth's crust will be at least 4,000 square kilometers. Through this hole will be for a short period of time thrown into the upper atmosphere several tens of thousands of cubic kilometers of volcanic ash. The impenetrability of the atmosphere to sunlight will lead to a significant drop in temperature down to 25 C and rapid death of plant and animal life, from a shock wave, from poisonous gases, from acid rains, from ashes within several days people. Plant and animal life of the USA will die. Russia will not be spared. Scales of expected destructive phenomena are difficult to imagine and realize in full measure, but in any case they will be catastrophic. If someone survives, they will be few, and they will get a lifeless, poisoned planet. Our future, our children and grandchildren are in mortal danger. We must preserve their lives, preserve our cities, the achievements of world culture, preserve all the world's wealth created over thousands of years, everything that is dear to us. We cannot allow the destruction of modern civilization with its highest achievements. We cannot leave our descendants a ruined, destroyed planet. It would seem that in this situation, the UN, at the request of the USA, should create a special group of specialists who have the technology to monitor volcanic activity. Russia has such specialists, and they have proposals ready. This group should work out a professional plan of action and start implementing it to prevent a powerful explosion. However, the U.S. authorities are trying to solve this issue with their own internal resources, preparing the resettlement of their citizens in South American countries. Instead of uniting the efforts of countries to eliminate the upcoming catastrophe, the U.S. is creating political and social chaos, fomenting local wars, color revolutions and the like, silencing the danger of Yellowstone eruption, which will cause irreparable damage to all mankind. Three years ago, Dr. Henry Gisseler, the most respected scientist in Yellowstone Park, predicted that the megavolcano's explosion would be preceded by an earthquake of more than four. 5 on the Richter scale, an increase in the activity of all Yellowstone Park geysers, and a mass exodus of animals from the area. All of these events have already occurred. Underground cavities of the volcano are rapidly filling with magma. The Shoshone River has changed color and in some places has begun to boil. Boiling is noted in other water bodies. Under the Yellowstone Lake there is a center of molten magma. In its area there are more frequent facts of sharp jumps in the temperature of the lake water, as a result of which the water for a while becomes boiling water. There is an increase in the volume of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide emitted, frequency and intensity of geyser eruptions. In the 20th of July this year there was a massive collapse near the Yellowstone caldera, indicating that a worldwide catastrophe is approaching. Instead of taking comprehensive and public measures to prevent the disaster, to warn the entire world community of the danger, to think through in detail a plan to save all its citizens, the U.S. leadership continues to pursue a policy of keeping silent about the degree of impending threats. It became known only by leaks from official U.S. sources millions of U.S. citizens are planned to be transferred to Argentina and Brazil countries that have already received a payment. 
of $10 billion each from the U.S. There are also reports that the U.S. is considering using the so-called misguided strategy to release the pressure of the growing magma by detonating a low-yield nuclear device on top of the dome. At Sour Creek, the weakest spot in the Yellowstone caldera, why are these measures not comprehensive and coordinated with the entire world community? It seems that the U.S. overconfident in the impossibility of preventing the catastrophe by methods of conventional new engineering, demonstrating intellectual impotence, frantically and chaotically looking for options for their actions. Summarizing all of the above, it should be noted that the threat is objective, deadly, global in nature, concerns all countries, all peoples, every person. Governments of all countries do not take active actions to prevent or eliminate this threat. There is no certainty that the U.S., for example, in the case of an explosion at the top of a volcano, will not make a mistake in forecasts and calculations, will not make the situation worse. There is a probability that the wrong strategy will be chosen to eliminate the danger. Scientific achievements and knowledge in this area of Russia and other countries will not be taken into account. There is an urgent need for scientific and technical study of the actions of the entire world community to address the impending disaster. According to unconfirmed information Russia warned the USA about impending planetary disaster, offered help in prevention of cataclysm, but the US authorities arrogantly refused to cooperate. I believe that Russia in this situation should not remain silent, but raise the question in the UN and other international organizations about joining efforts to prevent or reduce the consequences of Yellowstone. God only knows how much time we have left before the disaster begins. I would like to believe that mankind has at least four to five years at its disposal. To implement emergency practical measures, we need to act urgently, without wasting a single day.